more coming. Snacks here. Yo, my team go to TV soon. Yeah. Dude, what you doing, man? Fuck out of here. Come on, stop, my team. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Back just in time. Oh. Tonight's top story. We're in the midst of a zombie apocalypse and uh blah 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 yeah he's smacking. We know this already. Alright, caught you goal, my feet. We've been in a zombie apocalypse yeah. since <sighs> Go to the next teleprompter. Come on, come on. Alright. Okay. Flat to Vior has now formed the Flat to Vior Studios. Alright. So it appears that the modders Behind Yo, man, what the flat to VR Discord, I've come together to get the fuck out of the way. Own fuck out the way, man. Studio Shit. with the hopes that they can work directly oh, with first-party game developers to develop VR ports. Fuck your way. Yeah. All right, next story. All right. All right, all right, all right. So it appears Deep Silver is making a sequel. To Dead Island. The real one. Yeah, okay. Is this right? Is this right? That's cool. That's okay. Cool. Apparently, it's called Dead Island 2. However, it's set in Los Angeles. Which now I may have flunked geography in school, but I don't think Los Angeles is an island. I mean, come on. We couldn't call it Dead Republic of California, or uh, I don't oh, know. Oh man, call this shit. Yeah, come. Hey y'all. Y'all, y'all dead motherfucker! Shut your ass up! <laughs> Damn! <sighs> Alright, let's go. Yeah. Dead state. Mm hmm. Oh, I guess state of the case kind of got that one covered. Oh, yep, brand recognition. Logic be damned. Dead Island 2 has been released. And, thanks to UEVR, it's possible to play this bad boy. With 60 OF VR. Get out too, all up in the VR. Now, unfortunately, UVR does not have gesture support. But wait, 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 wait. Don't. Don't change the channel. Alright, keep it tuned here to VR TV. There is a way to get gesture support into Dead Island. Alright, so Dead Island 2 is heavily melee focused. Gesture system. So you kind of need to be able yeah. to swing your weapon and Man, over, I'll show you a gesture head. system. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? This amazing free time yeah. plugin by. Officer, officer, officer. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but anyway, link in the description for his file here. What he's gone and done is created custom VR gestures for various games, and you can program them yourself. So things like picking up items, climbing up and down ladders, opening doors, uh, punching a motherfucker, swinging your bat. All of that right, can be programmed to so, gestures on your motion so controllers. Something I vaguely like to do. So All that right. helps with immersion tenfold with things like UE VR, Damn. Reshade VR, Super Depth 3D, even Vorpex. You can use this in almost anything. I need to clean this TV, man. Alright. So for the purpose of this game, we made a very simple script to run alongside UE VR here. Which allows you when you swing your motion controller to melee attack. So it makes things very, very immersive. Swing your back. Oh man, I gotta. And you're gonna connect with that mofo's head. Clean the crap off the screen right. here, so I can so here's what see you the damn tutorial. This works with both open VR and open XR. However, all-purpose clean. Open VR has better compatibility. Yeah. 
Well, but XOR is experimental, so just bear that in mind. Alright. Damn. I almost see my so face. Go ahead. Open it up. Scroll down to where you see VR Companion. Alright. Double click it. Run script. Okay. Now you're gonna see a new menu. Select the profile Dead Island 2 Companion. Alright. Go ahead and press it. You should see a whole bunch of zeros and ones appearing on the screen down there. That means it's working. Alright. And load up your game with UEVR. Use the profile we provided for you if you're in the description. Very simple install. When you open UEVR, just go to import and import that profile over. Then run the game. You Copy should be in 60 UEVR. And there you have it. Once in game, press and hold the right grip on your controller. This activates the free pie script, allowing you to swing the motion controller and activate the only attack. Motion controls. Go ahead, give it a try, batch of motherfucker. Yeah, boy, let's go. All right, you stay classy, right. Los Angeles. I've been Cartoon Carl. Come here, bitch. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's how you play this game. Oh, the better the motherfucking way. Most immersive. Get your ass off me, man. Most immersive way you can play this motherfucker. Yeah! Get out to UEV, y'all motherfuckers! What's up, Leo? Yeah! And living and talking head. Coming to you live at Daigo with your fight games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? Yo, man, what's this? What's this? What's going on? What what we have over here? Oh, I had to look. Ah! Oh, man! Oh, hell! Way, way too much! Oh, bandage and booze! Well, Ed, this is gonna mean nothing to nobody, okay? <laughs> We've got Dead Island 2 up in VR with UEVR and working melee gesture controls. They're working on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you know, you, you got your uh, melee weapon. Thanks, Mom. Because Dead Island is very focused on melee, you can freely move that weapon around in 60 OF. But with UEVR, that was just for show. It didn't actually do anything. There was no button prompt, okay? So you could swing. You can swing that thing like you were Babe Ruth and you weren't hitting any ball, you know what I'm saying? It was just for show. But now, thanks to a free pie plug-in, and we'll get to that a bit later on. Okay, I'm good to get out of here. Now when you swing your motion controller, that activates the button prompt for the melee attack button within Dead Island 2. So now you can quite naturally swing in any direction in 60 OF. Other survivors. And in doing so, you will activate the combat button. What that translates to is a very, very immersive experience now. Oh, cool. Yeah, now why did I say this would mean nothing? <laughs> That's not quite true. What I meant by that is personally, the very first game that I had attempted to VRify some 15 years ago, and I'm talking way back in the day, in the infancy of VR, was Dead Island, the original Dead Island. Now, when I say previewer, I mean previewer. Oh, hi. I'm alive too. Oh, fuck. Seeing things. Not a good sign. What I had done is I had used a program called Glove Pie. Now, Glove Pie was created by Carl Kenner, aka 2i Guy, the same developer behind Dolphin VR. Now, the whole idea behind Glove Pie yeah, was that it allowed motion based controls to be mapped to keyboard, mouse, and later on to controller input. So you had working gestures in games. Now the idea back then, because this was pre-VR, was to kind of emanate the experience that the Nintendo Wii or the Xbox 360 Kinect could allow players to experience on, you know, 
the den higher end PC games. Time to tool up if I'm to get through that. Got a bit of how's your father about it? And I was all about immersion back then. Not necessarily VR, but getting games to be immersive. So with the original Dead Island, I had used an Xbox 360 Connect and Wiimotes, and I was able to get working gestures in the game. So what I had essentially done was created a Nintendo Wii slash Connect hybrid in terms of how this thing played. And you know, it was a lot of fun. I was, just, was still staring at the screen in front of me. Then VR happened. Rift dev kit happened and people were going crazy for VR. It was starting to pick up momentum again after you know it died in the 90s and I was like oh 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 ooh, hang on a second here <laughs> so I revisited that island with my control scheme and thought could I could I get VR so I didn't have any of the dev kits any of that at the time I feel compelled to keep this stuff just in case but I did have a mobile phone now I remember reading that the original Oculus Rift dev kit was created using Samsung Note. So I thought, okay, they had used a mobile phone to demo this thing. And I was right. And some clever boffins out there kind of reverse engineered what Palmer Lucky was talking about and created apps for your mobile phone. The most popular, at least for me, was Trinus VR. This is what I used quite a lot. This was very, very versatile for the time. There was many options. It was a great little thing. I loved it. So there I was with my Trinus VR mobile phone VR headset, whatever you want to call it, Wiimotes in hands, Xbox Connect tracking my body. With that, I was able to get 6 DOF VR for head tracking, it was still 3 DOF for controllers, and using a little modification, I was able to get analog controls into the game itself, meaning I could get 3 DOF melee combat in the original Dead Island. Now, to get the game into the headset, you could use the Trinus VR itself. But it was a 2D image split in two. It worked great for what it was. However, a program came along called Vario Perception, which many years later I would find out that members of Team Beef actually worked on. So I was in awe of that, I didn't know. <laughs> but Vario Perception came along and... No more hanging around. It was kind of like a precursor to Vorpex. It kind of did the same thing that Vorpex would go on to do. Using memory hacking, you were able to get perfectly scaled 3D, 3D UF head tracking, 6D UF if you had an open VR plugin or what have you, which I did using my Kinect. And it all worked fine, it all worked great. The latency was terrible though. <laughs> but this was back 15, 14, 13 years ago when I was working on that project. And I was just working on it for me, Dead Island, for me at least, was kind of a guilty pleasure game. It, it, it's not a game that's gonna you know, win awards or anything, but it was a game I personally loved because I was totally into zombies. I loved the style that the mission structure and open world feel was very similar to Far Cry or Borderlands, but with zombies. So, <laughs> I loved it. So anyway, fast forward some time, and the developer behind Dolphin VR and Glove Pie, who is a fantastic software engineer and, you know, everything he's done so far has been amazing. However, he is a very outspoken when it comes to his political beliefs. Almost home. Will you stop firing those bloody flares? What? Stop firing those flares. We've only got a few left. We should save them. Oh, for God's sake. Michael, take that flare gun off him and <laughs> shove it up his ass. <laughs> Just the army are on their way to rescue us. <laughs> We've all had a big shock. We shouldn't lose our heads. Half the people on this plane lost their heads. And their arms. And their legs. Oh god. What was that? There's something in the plane. Stay back. And this did not sit well with many people on the internet. <laughs> and the internet being the internet, they came to blows. So, 2i Guy did some questionable things, such as when Palmer Lockie left Facebook, he blocked the use of Oculus Touch controllers within Dolphin VR, for instance, out of protest because he wanted Palmer to get his job back, which. Obviously this fell on deaf ears and it never got re-implemented. But he also had some staunch political opinions on Israel-Palestine, okay? Not a zombie! We all okay? Uh, just a few bruises. I think we got lucky. I, I, I'm Michael. Jacob. Oh, this is fucking tremendous! <laughs> Emma, darling, I'm so sorry about Robert. Why? I mean, this is all his fault! This Selfish wanker! Will you stop standing there and find me some fucking shoes? Bruv, 
You got some blood coming out your ears. What? I can't hear you. I got blood coming out of my ears. Well, I mean, what are we going to do? Trying to look tasty. People, this is Emma Jaunt. Nice. Of course you know what a huge star she is, Romero, winner no less. We need to get her home to safety. Aye, aye. What's this? Careful. Hello? Uh, <clears throat> oh, thank fuck. My... My wife. She's hanging in there, but weak. This off me. Come on, there's no me and team. Michael, help. On me. Lift! It's too heavy. I think they're getting closer. We need to go. Okay, got you pegged. Emma? I mean, perhaps we should stay. Darling, the world needs you. They'll protect them. Oh. Volunteer, that right? Okay, Michael, if you're sure. Here is my address, in case you change your mind. Good luck. Why's the GNT? Keep it chill. I'll call the army. Send help. Go. Hey, are you Emma Trant? <laughs> Typical, LA. Eh? Another survivor looks dazed or in shock. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> hey, mate. Step out of it! So what he ended up doing was geo-blocking his software in certain parts of the world where he kind of thought their political ideals or visions didn't really line up with his. And so some people out there kind of commented, Oh hey, I downloaded GovPy and I can't seem to use it here in whatever part of the world it was. I'm going to use Israel as an example, but my memory's kind of shot and maybe it wasn't. And, you know. Well, that sets the bloody tone. You know, Carl responded in kind by saying, yes, I'm... Got a tool up. Won't allow the use of this in that country as long as that particular system or whatever injustice it is he was against was continuing, basically. So this prompted some people out there to go, okay, fine. They fought back. Right, come on then, you manky fuckers! Carl, Fenner slash two eye guy kind of disappeared. Abandoned dolphin, abandoned glove pie, just disappeared. He's gone. Every now and again, he reappears, and the green tree fully possessed gets hooked. <laughs> but beyond that, he's basically gone. He has no online presence as far as I'm aware. Now he could be out there, you know, with a new username and God knows. But Carl Kenner slash two eye guy persona is gone. Everything he had worked on has stagnated. Still available, still there, but it hasn't developed further. So, as all his projects stagnated, the geo-blocking still remained in place. <laughs> so this prompted a developer in Israel, now I do believe it's Israel, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that one-to-one. -one. Well, okay. And he looked at what he had done in GovPy. It wasn't open source, but he was able to see, okay, this is using Python, this is using Java, this is using a coding language that he understood. And he kind of backward engineered it, kind of improved upon a few things, and created FreePy. So FreePy, for all intents and purposes, is the continuation of LovePi, except it is much more versatile, it has support for more peripherals, and it keeps getting added to even today. Now, why is it called FreePi? Because it's freely available everywhere. <laughs> no political bullshit attached. <laughs> so that is the brief history of uh, FreePi right there, and my interest in Dead Island, and how they kind of were entwined. So fast forward to today, and they're still very much entwined. <laughs> Dead Island finally releases after being in development hell for more than 10 years. It stopped, started, it's had three different studios attached at three different moments in time. Anyway, it's finally here, it's upon us. With UEVR, you can get it into VR. Fantastic, 6DOF, positional tracking, 3D, all in engine, everything works fine, it's fantastic. 6DOF motion tracking, I won't say motion controls because although they are tracked, they go more from the inputs. Now, on the flat 2 vr Discord, a user called Officer, no, please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I, I, I think he's going for Officer, but I don't know. 
<laughs> I could be wrong. In any case, whatever this guy's name is, he's a genius. <laughs> Come on! That precarious blob of burning rubber gives me an idea. Just need to knock it down. He has added to the FreePi program an open VR implementation so you can use VR controllers along with FreePi to allow throw something to knock it down. Keyboard and mouse and controller inputs. So just like we were able to do way back in the day with GlovePi, you can now do with your motion controllers. And it works great. He has a very robust gesture system. It can be customizable for any game, as long as you understand the code. He has some templates up there already with games including Terminator Resistance, Detached. He has a few examples up there that you can use, that you can kind of modify to your own game, the game you want to get running. Fantastic. So what I've done is just very, very simple. I've copied his melee attack system. That's all I've done. Now I can elaborate further if I wanted to. But that's all I've done. And the missing ingredient from Dead Island 2 with you either you are. You swing the thing, it doesn't connect. That's the only missing thing. So I've added that in. So now when I swing my weapon, I will actually attack something. So it's very, very immersive. I love it. I'm going to be using this from now on with you if you're fantastic. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, his free pipe plugin isn't just for you if you're. It also works with Reshade Super Depth 3D, which is actually what he originally developed for fur to create a poor man's VR in his own words. Ah, you can use it with Warpex, which already has its own gesture system, but this is way more fast, way more robust. You can use it with basically anything. I'm even thinking of revisiting Alien Isolation or one of the various VR titles that use Gamepad and seeing if I can add gestures that way. That could be neat. Okay, so, what is Dead Island 2? Well, man, I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's Dead Island... Part 2. Oh, yeah, essentially. <laughs> so, this is the third game in the Dead Island series. What? Well, uh, third game, but it's a 2? Yeah, actually, if you count all the spin-offs, it's actually the fifth game. Oh, man. Why is it called 2, then? Yeah, well, you know, it started with Dead Island, and Dead Island Riptide, which was basically an expansion for Dead Island, a continuation. Had the same characters that continued their story. I should start a scorecard. Wait, hey, are you guys okay? Come on, Jay. Good bedside manner. Hey. Oh, shut the cat! Oh, God. How the fuck did this happen? It's not meant to be like this. Steady. We ain't lost yet. Hey, darling. Can you drink? Come on. It's water. Just take a sip. With me, yeah? Come on, Jay. Stay level. Go, keep it going. But which way? 66 Alpine Drive. <laughs> Then you had the third person escape from Dead Island. So another spin-off with a cell shaded type graphical style, played from a third person, played very, very differently. And then you had the weird 2D side-scrolling Dead Island game. Which <laughs> yeah, okay, it was fun, but what the hell was that? <laughs> okay, and then the whole series just kind of languished. Something tells me this is definitely Bel Air. A Dead Island 2 teaser trailer came out, a CGI trailer where a guy's running alongside a beach and slowly starts to decay and then he's a zombie and then nothing. Nothing for 10 years. <laughs> Worst hangover ever. It would transpire that the game was started and stopped three times by three different developers throughout the years. Now within that time you got the original developers went away on their own and they created Dying Light. 
to critical acclaim and for many people Dying Light was the obvious spiritual successor to Dead Island. It had everything Dead Island had but it added parkour mechanics. Incidentally Dying Light has its own VR implementation which is quite cool. Half baked but quite cool. Mm -mm, speaking of, could get the free flight gesture controls in that game too. Nice, I might revisit that. Anyway moving on. So Dying Light had a bazillion expansions DLCs throughout the years, it's still being built on today. <laughs> it's a massive game, massive. I'll burst a bullet climbing over that. Safer through this mansion and find the back gate. That was followed up with Dying Light 2. And while all this was transpiring with the Dying Light series, we thought Dead Island 2 was just gone, dead, kaput. Then out of nowhere, it gets announced at the Game Awards and ooh! Dead Island 2 is alive, and not only is it alive, it's going to be released very soon. Everyone and their sister was surprised. But here it is, Dead Island 2. The most surprising thing that I found about Dead Island 2 is just how much it plays like the original Dead Island. Now, I'm going to go back and again to Dead Island and say, yes, that's a guilty pleasure of mine. I played that more than I care to admit. <laughs> really, really love that game. And Dead Island 2, it feels like Dead Island. Like, yes, obviously it's had the graphical love lift of 15 plus years of development. Looks a ton better, but it plays like Dead Island. It plays like the game I remember and loved. All the zombies behave the same, the world behaves the same, the characters. Everything feels like Dead Island, and I love it. Apart from the fact that it's not actually set on an island, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> so yeah, so what is it all about? Well, there's a zombie apocalypse. You have to navigate your way through the world. It's an open world kind of situation. Missions can be tackled at your leisure, at your pace. Very reminiscent of Far Cry, very reminiscent to Borderlands. That's really it. <laughs> Fight zombies, upgrade yourself, they upgrade. You can upgrade weapons. The focus on melee is huge over traditional firearms, although they are there. You, you can shoot a motherfucker, but it's mostly melee based. And yet, Dead Island 2, more of the same. Fantastic. Love it. So personally, myself, I kind of held off on playing the game. Just because I wanted it in VR and I knew UEVR was coming, so I didn't play it on launch. And then when UEVR released, there was an issue with the UI for certain games, Dead Island 2 being one of them, jeez Louise. So I held off again. And then recently there's been a fix to the UI. So I was finally able to play it. An absolutely amazing 60OF profile was on flat to VR. I've uploaded that. And it plays fantastically. And now, with the Free Pie Jester system, this thing is complete, man. This this is how I envisioned Dead Island to play in VR way back 15, 16 years ago when I first attempted to do this myself with the original Dead Island. That's how I envisioned this would play in my head way back then. So in a bizarre way, the first game we ever attempted to VRify, Dead Island, Love Pie Gestures in VR. It's now come full circle, Dead Island 2, UE VR, Free Pie Gestures. It's crazy how everything has been entwined for the past 15 years. Absolutely nuts. 70 Alpine Drive. I can cut through this place, nab some bits and bobs, and roll out the other side to Emma's place. So, that's it. We're going to go back to the game because I'm getting to experience it for the first time. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Breaker missing. So I guess we're going to leave it there, you guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like us to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. Have a nose around in here. Hold your hoses. Is that a breaker I see? You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And, uh... Yeah. Follow us on all social medias, uh, all links will be in the descriptions, and yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. Alright, your fight game's out. Just a ticket. Jobs are good. Roll with the punches, as my granddad used to say.